Hello everybody and welcome to T. Jones Gaming. My name is Tori and today we are playing Unturned. Um, I got a request for more crafting videos, so today we're going to take a look at crafting uh, the various types of explosives. So first things first, um, we're going to craft, we'll start at the bottom, at, at the most basic explosive, which is a makeshift grenade. Then we'll take a look at a uh, sticky grenade, a landmine, a claymore, and a charge. So to craft the makeshift grenade, we need one can, we need a raw explosive, we need nails. So you can find the can and the nails in town. You can find explosives at the military base. Straightforward enough. And we get a makeshift grenade. The next thing we're going to look at crafting is a sticky grenade, which requires one glue, one wire, one raw explosive, one fragmentation grenade. So you used to be able to make the frag grenades, but um, I don't see a recipe for them anymore. You can find them at uh, military spawns. Um, also, if you kill a mega zombie, they'll drop um, sticky grenades a lot. Uh, glue you can find at like hardware stores and then wire you can craft from metal scrap if it's still possible to craft wire and you know how to do it go ahead and uh, drop it in the comments and I'll let everyone know so the next uh, item we're going to craft is the sticky bomb and like I said one we already ran through the recipe that's gonna look like here's our sticky bomb and then to craft a landmine, we need one can, two nails, um, one raw explosive, and one makeshift grenade. And here's a landmine. Now to craft a claymore, which is a directional explosive, we're going to need three metal scraps, two wire, one raw explosive, uh, and one makeshift grenade. And here's what a claymore looks like. The front, it says, it tells you which way to face it. And to make a charge, I think, I believe this is a breaching charge specifically designed to blow open doors. We're gonna need one wire, one raw explosive, one sticky grenade. And see when you put it on a door, look at how cool that is. All right, um, the next thing I want to do is try out the different explosives. So I have a bunch of stuff set up, including doorways and vehicles. And let's go ahead and start with the makeshift grenade and see how many makeshift grenades it takes to get through one of these doors. Alright, so we're going to start with this um, it's pine. Pine door frame and a metal door because if they had a pine door you can just open it unless they changed it. But you used to be able to just open a pine door and you had to make a metal door if you wanted it to lock. So let's step back a little bit and throw a makeshift grenade at the door. So one, two, three, sixteen. 17. Well, you know what? I don't think we can blow through this with a makeshift grenade. So that's good to know. Don't, uh, don't waste your time making makeshift grenades if you want to penetrate a base. All right, so let's, um, let's get some more makeshift grenades and try and blow some vehicles up. I'm not going to try and blow open a metal door because if it can't blow down a wood wall. It's not going to blow down a metal wall. Okay. 
So we're going to start with a civilian vehicle, a roadster. One. Two. Three. Thirteen. Fourteen. So fifteen grenades did not destroy that vehicle. <laughs> That's... So apparently these grenades are not very good. Let's make sure that we can destroy this vehicle. So normally I just use a chainsaw. Yeah, how can 50 explosive devices not destroy a vehicle when I can just do it with my chainsaw? And it looked like it took two grenades to kill a zombie. So let's use these makeshift grenades and, and let's try and kill a zombie with them. Alright, that's one. There's two. So it takes two of them to kill a zombie. So these things, I don't even think they're worth making. So the next thing we're going to take a look at here is the uh, sticky grenade. And we will go to the second door. What's behind door number two? A sticky grenade. One. Two. Ouch. Three. Four. Five. Six. So, take six to blow down the wall there. All right, one, two, three. Ten. Eleven. Oh, ten did it. So you can blow down the door with ten. So that's good to know. All right. Well, how about we see how many of them it takes to kill a zombie first? See if we can't stick it to him. Oh, it didn't stick to him. We'll have to wait till we reach the edge of his aggro zone. Come on, zombie. Don't go all the way back. Okay. Oh. One. <laughs> oh, man. This bandage. Okay, civilian vehicle. Oh, we've already been blowing it. That one was... I don't want to... I want our test to be accurate. One. Two. Three. Four. So, four sticky grenades to blow up. A civilian vehicle. One, this is an APC. Two. Three, armored personnel carrier. Four. Five. Six. Seven. So not too many more than the civilian vehicle. So seven for an APC. So that that's still quite a few though. Let's go down here and take a look at how many it'll take us to kill this tank. One. Two. Three. Nine. OK. 
Okay, smoking at nine. Ten. Ten grenades. So it's going to take a while to uh, kill a tank. Okay, the next thing we're going to try out is uh, Claymore. The Claymore is a mine, and... Um, and so, and it's a proximity mine. So we're gonna place one down and see if we can get a zombie to run at us. I'll shoot him in the foot. Oh shoot, I killed the first one. Okay, that's okay, there's more coming. We got come on fellas. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. See if I can't get the zombies to set off one of these claymores. I'll try not to kill the zombie this time. Let's see, do it. Boom! <laughs> okay, it totally worked. Let's get in one of these roadsters and see if we can't run over that. Claymore, see if we can't detonate it by running over it. <laughs> so, it didn't kill us, but it sure injured us. That's a bandage. What I want to see is can it blow up a car if you put out a series of them. I don't necessarily want to die myself, but if I if I have to, I have to. Okay, so we've already hit one. Here comes number two. What? These ones aren't igniting. So we've hit two. I'm not too impressed with the claymore at this point. Okay, now, are these other ones still on the road? There. Three. Let's get away from the car. Okay, let's put down a couple more. I wonder, it seems like it's going to take one more, but I've already forgotten how many we did. Three, I think. How come it's not recognizing? <laughs> okay. Uh, it seems like four. All right, I'm naked as the day I was born. Okay, next we're going to try it out on an APC. So let's put a bunch down. So really? One, two. We're definitely taking less damage. Three. Four. Five. Why does it seem like they hit better if we're going backwards? I don't know. So hopefully you're just wanting people to back over your claymores. So we got five. Let's put some more down. But we're definitely taking less damage when we're inside the APC. Oh no. We blew ourselves up. 
I must have walked backwards over one. Okay, so they're blowing the, each other up too. So I gotta space them a little bit more. So we must have walked backwards over an undetonated one. Or something. I don't know. Oh, maybe I get it. You're supposed to place them with the arrow pointing that way. That's why we're having such a hard time, I think. Six, seven, eight. Eight, and we're smoking. Nine. Nine claymores to blow up a, an APC. Oh, look at that. At least we don't have to run very far this time to pick up our junk. Oh, look, my dead body's still there. So now we're going to grab a, a tank and run over some more claymores. And I do love these tanks. And what we found out in a... previous episode is they can take more damage if their armor, if there has metal plate on them. Okay, here we go. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six. Well, we're definitely, um, it's definitely easier to hit them with a tank. We're at six. Let's remember that. Seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven. And that's why my bed is right there. Okay, so we were at 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16, man, that seems like a lot. So let's let's take a look and see what the writing on them says. Front toward enemy. Does that make that the front? Hmm. I'm not sure. So we're at 16. 17. 18. Oh, I keep blowing them up. 19. The tank is smoking at 19. Okay. We're at 19. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. So that doesn't seem like a very efficient way to kill a tank, does it? It does not to me. Twenty-two, 
claymores to blow it up. That's a hell of a lot of work. Eh, all my junk is underneath there. And the next thing we're going to take a look at is uh, charge. I think we might need a detonator for this, but we're going to try it out with that one. So we are going to need a detonator. And they can't be crafted. They can only be found at military bases. And this is what it looks like. So we take it in our hand. And then, see, when we're not facing it, see how it's red? So we can't blow it up when it's red. So we get right on it. It turns yellow. Then we click, right click once it turns blue. And then we look away and boom so that's the way to go really you know oh there's all our stuff so it takes a lot of work to build one of those though as we saw earlier let's see if we can so we need the we need to build the sticky bomb to build the sticky bomb we need grenades and we need explosives, so it takes a lot to build one of those charges. And then you have to find a detonator. But they're so effective. And supposedly, you can detonate up to eight charges at once. Boom, blew the door right open. So let's see what happens if we put multiple charges on a door. Say we'll put one, two, three, four. Let's put a couple on the wall. Two, three. All right, let's see how that works out. Blue. 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 So I'm right clicking right now, but then to actually detonate them, I'm going to left click. All right. So they're all green, and I left click. <laughs> oh man, that was super cool. Let's see if we can set them on a car. Now if we can set it on a car, I feel like one should be enough to take the car out. Yes, and supposedly this is like a rare spawn, this detonator. So military bases, or if you drop a mega zombie, maybe you'll get one. All right, let's do it. Wow. So really, those charges are designed for breaching and not for destroying cars. Because you see, we take a, a metal door down in one shot, but it's going to take at least two to take this car down. Boom. So, two charges to take out a civilian vehicle. Now for the APC, let's go ahead and, and start by putting two on there because we know it should take at least two Get back a little ways. And boom. Now let's do them one at a time. So that's two, three, OK. 
Okay, it's smoking at three. There's four. So, four breaching charges, two destroy an AP. Now let's see how many it takes to destroy a tank. So we're going to start with four, because it took four to destroy the APC. So there's four. Boom. Five. Six. It's smoking at six. Seven breaching charges to destroy a tank. So, pretty much it looks like what we have left is landmines. Um, so I'm going to attach seven breaching charges to this tank. Charges, they call them. They don't call them breaching charges. I call them breaching charges. Okay, because how cool is it going to be to blow that all up in one fell swoop? Plus, I like when they all go off together. Alright, we got seven on there. <laughs> oh, I do like to blow things up. Alright, we need another roadster to to blow up with some landmines. Let's get up here a little ways. Okay. Let's see what we can do. There's super. One, two. Three. Four. Seriously smoking after four. Five. Five landmines to blow up a roadster. Again, not a, just not a very efficient way to oh to destroy vehicles. So clearly they're intended for um Pedestrians, I guess. All right. One, two. Three, four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ten.
Okay. That's good to know. Ten. Oh, live, live mines. Okay. So, five for civilian vehicle, ten for an APC. Let's see, uh, see about this tank. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. To get it smoking. Eighteen. Nineteen twenty. That's about what I expected. Once we passed fifteen, I figured twenty was probably the deal. Let's see how many landmines it takes to kill a zombie. Come here, zombie. Hit the landmine. Hit the landmine. No, hit the landmine. Hit the landmine. Hit it. Oh, man. The zombie. He's too smart for me. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can do this. We'll sprint at him. Oh, I have to stop to actually place it. Oh, no, I didn't. So, <laughs> one landmine to kill a zombie. And let's see how many landmines it takes to take out a me. And let's look at my toughness. I can't imagine. Okay, so I don't have any toughness left after all those deaths. Boom! One landmine to take out a me with zero toughness. Oh no, I'm sorry. I still have 11%. I was like, why can't I go home? Okay, one, one landmine and I'm not bleeding. You'd think I would be bleeding. Alright, two landmines to take out a me. Well... Thanks for joining me, everybody. I think we covered all of them except for rockets. I didn't get into rockets because I knew you needed a rocket launcher. Um, and I didn't realize you needed, de you needed a detonator when I started um, the charges. Um, but you need a detonator for the charges. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, go ahead and click that like button and uh, subscribe to the channel, and I will continue to bring more uh, exciting, unturned adventures to you. Until next time, take it easy.